Hi, I'm Jonathan Smith with Prestige Yacht Sales. You can call or text me at 860-514-3763 or email me at jsmith at prestigeyachtsales.net. Today we're looking at a trade-in. They uh, just purchased a brand new Beneteau and traded in their 1984 Freedom 32 that you see behind me. Been numerous upgrades in 2012, 2013. Uh, and even the engine was replaced in 2004 to a Yanmar 20 so 27 horsepower. Uh, the, the main sail uh, was done in 2012 in the stack pack. The top sides were all gripped, I think in 2013. The decks were all gripped in 2009. There's been some upgrades to the electronics, etc. So it's uh, actually a great value for um, a nice boat. These Freedoms are really known for the self-standing carbon fiber mass. So you don't have old standing rigging uh, that your insurance company might want you to replace. It also makes for very clean decks. Uh, there's also a soft tacking jib that you see behind me. Uh, so it's a very easy boat to handle uh, and it also sails very well with just the main sail alone. All right, hey, let's go take Start a closer by looking look. at the starboard side, you can see there is radar, Raymarine radar. The uh, flag blue hull was all gripped about 10 years ago. And it has a gold cove stripe and sort of a white and gold boot top stripe. Red bottom. Bruce anchor. Looking down the port side. Looks pretty good. A few little tiny scratches here and there, but not too bad. Aluminum uh, tow rail. Doyle stack pack that lets you drop the sail and the lines catch the sail and feed it right down into the uh, sail cover that you zip from the top. There's a Dodger and a Bimini. And I believe there's a connector uh, that fills in between. And then you can see there's a matching binnacle cover. Okay. Let's go aboard. I have removed the cover from uh, the wheel and the binnacle. Take a look around here. You have a wood seat. You have an outboard motor bracket. There is a block and tackle that attaches to the radar mast. So if you need to hoist an outboard and place it on the outboard bracket, it's easily done. That taco is uh, down below, stored below. At the helm, take a look at our Raymarine electronics. This is all like the ST60 series, speed, wind, depth, and here's an autopilot. It is an under deck ST6000 autopilot, not a wheel pilot. Here's our Raymarine MFD. It looks to be about a nine inch display. And I'm not sure the model number of that. Um, all the details are in the listing. There's a link in the description of the video below. So be sure to check that out to get the pricing and all the accurate information. This boat does have propane for the stove. And we have a propane locker in here. And then on the other side, there's um, a locker for an extra tank. There's a tank in there for propane. Is our outdoor locker. Boat does come with a spare anchor. That's a fortress anchor with chain and road. Some uh, life jackets, another fender down there. Of course, all the dock lines and fenders you saw as we did the walk around are included. By the way, there's a newer VHF and a remote mic that uh, attaches out here at the helm. Do a quick walk forward. As mentioned, the uh, decks uh, were re-all gripped with this non-skid, I believe in 2009. Little solar fans in the hatches. Our self-tacking jib. You gotta hoist it, but it has like a little uh, jib boom. Kind of like a little, it's like a little rigid boom that you can kind of see there. So that makes it self-tacking. There is an electric windlass and it does work. But if you look back on the decks, they're kind of uncluttered. You don't have Genoa tracks. You don't have shrouds and chain plates to deal with. All right, let's take a look down below. It's 
So we have a galley to port right in front of us. Large, uh, round, half round settee dining area to port and a straight settee to starboard. There's a large ice box. It's not refrigeration, but it is an ice box that's insulated. And then two burner propane stove with an oven. To starboard is a nav station. Here's our newer v uh, VHF, that's 2020. And here's the remote mic that goes out to the helm. Our manuals for the Ray Marine Electronics. DC panel and an AC panel. We do have 30 amp shore power uh, with a battery charger. And there are some outlets as well. So when you're plugged in the shore power, you get AC outlets. You know, some things are a little tired down in here, a little bit of uh, stains here and there, but all in all, not too bad. It's a good boat. Let's uh, look forward at our V berth. And there is a spinnaker, although you will need to get a spinnaker pole if you want to use it. It's a traditional spinnaker. And uh, the, the spinnaker pole was disposed of a long time, time ago. Apparently it was super heavy. So if you wanted to fly that spinnaker, you'd need to get yourself a pole, maybe a lightweight carbon pole. You can hear the solar fan working. Um, one of the few issues I am aware about is the, these arms for the hatch are broken. They're missing the pieces that would telescope and attach right here. You may be able to buy those. Uh, this, the owner of Kerf, or former owner of this boat, uh, lifts it up and then these lock right into these and open, you know, holds it open at like the perfect angle. So that was good enough for him. If it's not good enough for you, then you can try to find those little arms and, um, bolt them back in yourself. Probably an easy job if you can find the parts. Here we have a manual head and there is a holding tank and uh, an overboard discharge. You can see there's a Y valve there, a little locker in the head, sink, shower sump, and then the aft stateroom. You have various cushions here that are the owner kept on board. Uh, I think he uses them for cockpit cushions, numerous little throwable cushions as well. And we have some side panels back here for our Dodger that aren't on right now that, uh, you know, go back a little further, give you a little more protection if you needed it. Boat hook in here. And a locker. And there is an opening hatch back here, uh, both uh, outboard and above. Our Yanmar inboard diesel. As mentioned, this was installed in 2004. It is a freshwater cooled engine. We do not know the hours. There's no hour meters on these boats. So uh, I do not know the hours. The former owner tells me uh, it runs terrific and I have every reason to believe him. So I suspect it would survey well. But that's about all I can tell you about it other than visually looking at it right now. Once again, I'm Jonathan Smith with Prestige Yacht Sales. You can call or text me at 860-514-3763 or email me at jsmith at prestigeyachtsales.net. I'd be happy to answer any questions or show you this 1984 Freedom 32. It's located near my office, so pretty easy to see. Anyways, reach out. We'll see if we can do something with you. Okay, bye.